click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have considered the reaction of alcohol with hydroiodic acid. In that case we have did a particular example. So based on that only we are going to do the mechanism of that reaction and the reaction is So friends, in this topic, we are going to talk about the mechanism of action of that is hydroiodic acid on 3 methyl butyl 2 also. This is the reaction or this is the general reaction that I was talking about in our previous example. So in this case, basically, this alcohol, which is nothing but a secondary alcohol, it will react with hydroiodic acid so that the alkyl halide that we would obtain here, it will be a tertiary alkyl halide. So how the reaction proceeds in such a manner that is from a secondary alcohol, we would obtain a tertiary alkyl halide. So this is the main thing that we are going to talk about in this mechanism. So talking about the mechanism, this is the mechanism where I'm going to talk about in three steps. So let me talk about the first step. So in this step one, that is we have to consider the main reactant and the main reactant is nothing but the secondary alcohol that we have considered in this reaction that is CH3. CH, that is CH3. And with that off, that is CH, here it is OH and here it is CH3. So obviously we are reacting it with HI that is hydroiodic acid and obviously this hydroiodic acid is very much strong so obviously it will produce H plus ion very easily. So that is the reason that is the H plus ion that has been produced due to the hydroiodic acid. Now in this case this H plus ion it will attack this oxygen atom which is basically partially negative charge. So that's the reason that this hydrogen ion it will attack this oxygen atom in such a manner that is the product that we could obtain here it is. CH3, here it will be CH, here this one will be CH, and this one will be CH, and this one will be methyl group that is CH3, and this OH will be turned into that is OH, and this one is the H plus ion that has been attached over here. But if you will observe, that is this oxygen atom has a valency of 3, obviously in this case, basically this oxygen atom is not very much stable, so obviously it will have a positive charge on it. So this is how basically we have protonated an alcohol. But we have a particular name for these steps also. So in this case basically the step 1 has a name where we have converted an alcohol into a protonated alcohol. So that is the reason that we could write the name of the step 1 as protonation of alcohol. So this was related to the step 1 and now let me come back to the step 2. So now let me talk about the step 2. So in this case basically we will use the reagent that is already produced in step 1. So the product that has been formed in step 1 is this that is CH3, CH, here it is CH3, well this one was CH and here it was CH3 and here it was OH and here it was hydrogen atom that was attached to the oxygen atom and here we see the oxygen atom has a partially positive charge or a positive charge on it but obviously this is very much unstable so that's the reason that this water molecule it will be removed how basically as I could see that is I have represented that is a positive charge on this oxygen atom so obviously this two electron it will basically it will come back to this oxygen atom in such a way that is the carbon atom will get positive charge on it. So this is how we see the reaction proceeds and the product that we could obtain here is CH3, CH, there it will be CH3 and this one will be CH which will have a positive charge on it and only that of the CH3. But we were, the byproduct that we could obtain over here it is H2. So this is the product that we have formed over here and now this one would be used in step number 3. But we have to give a particular name to this one also. So as this is a compound that has been formed and this is the one which has a positive charge on it. So therefore we could say that is a carbocation has been formed. So therefore the name of the step 2 is formation of Carbocation. So now this formation of carbocation that is what we have discussed over here and now in this case basically the product that we have obtained that is carbocation that would be used in step number 3 and by then we could obtain the main product and now let us understand that how the mechanism goes on. So friends the product that we have obtained in step number 2 is what I am going to represent over here that is it was nothing but CH3, C CH3 over here and this one was the hydrogen atom that was been attached to the carbon atom over here and now this is 
carbon which has a positive charge on it along with the hydrogen atom and this is nothing but CH3. So this is the product that we have obtained over here and as you could see over here that is a positive charge on the carbon atom. But this is a carbocation which is basically a secondary carbocation and it has been found that is the tertiary carbocation is very much stable compared to that of a secondary carbocation. So that is the reason that this hydrogen atom obviously it will transfer towards this carbon atom so that the product that we will obtain is it would be nothing but CH3 C here I would write as CH3 and this one has turned into now CH2 along with that of CH3 and now this carbon atom has been turned into a tertiary carbocation so now the thing that we have to do is obviously we have reacted only with the proton but we have not reacted with that is iodine ion so now in this case basically the following reaction will proceed in such a way that is the I minus obviously the I minus which is basically iodide ion it will react or it will get attached to this positive charge or positive carbon atom and the product that we will obtain is CH3 C CH2 CH3 this is CH3 where the iodine has been added or this carbon atom so that by this is the product that has been formed and that is how basically the reaction proceeds so this is the product that has been formed but we have to give the name to step 3 also so therefore in this case basically we could say that there is a nucleophilic attack of that is I minus on the carbocation so therefore we could write So therefore, we could write the name of step 3 as nucleophilic attack on carbocation. So this is what the product has been formed and this is how basically we have discussed about the mechanism of this reaction. So that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this reaction very clearly and I hope I will see you next time. Till then, don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.